if you fall, fall onto that side and I'll jump over the ridge on this side. And we'll just clothesline this thing. Okay. I am looking at the beautiful Grand Quiton. It's funny, you look at like Jackson Hole over there and you're like, oh, Jackson's a big mountain. And then you like look at Grand Quiton doubling in size. I really know nothing about how to get in, get up at, I mean, I've read a bunch of blogs and stuff, but I know it's a long tour. I know it's 7,000 vert. I know there's a bit of flat. It seems like pretty mellow. And then there's a Kular you climb with a little ice fall and then you climb up one more couloir to the summit and you ski down above exposure and you rappel through an ice vault. But that's all I know, which is not enough to go do it. So luckily I've got another secret weapon. Someone, people might've heard it before. He's going to be showing us the way. Good, dude. You're back. Yeah. yeah that's good to be here. <laughs> it's actually back here. Else without you. <laughs> I know. With you, finally. So, uh, yeah. This is sweet. This, this little thing. I think you might recognize it. Is that? That's yeah, Jimmy Chin. Oh, Oscar. Oscar, I believe his name is. It's pretty. Pick this up. Let's feel heavy. Oh, jeez. Nikes. That thing is. Is that like real gold? It's pretty heavy, right? Oh my god. It is. It's 24 karat. What? Laser. Laser plated 24 karat gold. That's what they tell me. <laughs> That's what they tell you. Cool. Yeah. yeah. There's some other pieces in here though. Yeah, yeah, like a chunk of Everest rock. That's pretty cool. That's from the summit. That's from the summit. That's from the summit of Everest. I haven't even been here in five or six months. So I don't even. All my stuff, all my shit is like totally. I just don't know where anything is right now. I've literally missed the entire season and I've done two little tours. <laughs> <laughs> this year because I've been on the road staying in hotels and promoting the film and working on other stuff. I simply moved here because of the Grand Teton. I think I came out here when I was 19 or 20. I saw it for the first time. I came to Jackson. It was in the summer but I was like oh yeah I gotta climb that. And then when I moved here probably 20 years ago skiing the Grand was the most badass thing. <laughs> you could do here. Do you have any ice screws? Four should be enough because it's like two for an anchor and then two for leading. Gotcha. There's rock anchors though, aren't there? Yeah, there's mainly rock anchors. We probably won't even need them, but just in case, like if we're, for some reason, if we're short, if we want to, yeah. Cause sometimes it's weird in there. Like there isn't enough ice yeah. and all of a sudden it's more mixed. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want a little bit more gear. So how many times do you say you ski the ground? What do you think? I mean, I lost count, but I'm a somewhere. I mean, it's gotta be 20 times or something. But yeah. I mean, I skied it seven or eight times in one season, one year when I was Whoa. training for Everest. For Everest? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And I skied it three times a week for two weeks. At the end of the season, I was just like, okay. You helped to uh, raise up the entire <laughs> mountain sports industry and look at the mountain sports <laughs> industry is going to make sure you don't leave us behind. So you're gonna come no, us. you guys will be leaving me behind, me behind tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta find my grandpa. What a heavy shit. Let's throw this in Jeremy's pack. <laughs> sandbagging. He's totally sandbagging us. I know it. Crush us up that thing. I'm excited to go ski with Jimmy. I've actually, we haven't ever skied together. We've done other stuff, climbed and whatnot, but not ski. Jimmy on the ground. Doesn't get much better than that. See in the morning, dude? Yeah. Stay well. Yeah, you too, buddy. Alright. Cheers. Buenos dias, dude. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Very good. Can't say I got enough sleep last night, but I think I got enough sleep to get up that mountain. Good morning, how's it going? Good, how are you? 
Excellent. <laughs> times it. Best time of your life. Huh. Ah, I guess it's that time, huh? How do you sleep? I slept pretty good. I mean, kind of. As good as you can when you know you gotta wake up early and go climb a mountain. Uh, I think we have a lot of hours of just kind of meandering mindlessly through valleys. I'm excited that I'm not having to film this. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, Bjarne is going to have to do twice as much as all of us today, so. I mean, if we can sum it in like six hours, it's probably going to be about 12 to 14 miles round trip and 7,000 vert. So it's a real day. About an hour in. Just now starting up. It's like long, slow, flat. Now the real adventure begins. How's it going? <laughs> Good. We've gone about 120th of the way. So talk to me in like six hours. <laughs> First hint to sunrise. That's almost 6 15. I'm this thing in, in windy weather, but I don't know, it's hard to say. Look at that. Oh. Getting blown around by 50, 60 mile an hour winds on the upper part of the mountain. Certainly not fun. Not that much fun. And kind of sketchy. And a little scary. Like, huh, I gotta put my ski on. Boom, my ski's on. <laughs> there goes my glove. Boom. There goes Cody. Boom. <laughs> We're this far, like, I'm willing to wait like half an hour, but you just don't know, it could, it could settle down. I'm usually of a school where you're like, we'll go until it doesn't really make sense to go. Mm -hmm. And right now, it seems like we could keep going. Mm -hmm. Got ropes and stuff. Middle Teton. Around this corner is the Ford Stadner. Got 1500 work. shower in a couple days if I had just got one. Just moved through the standard couloir. This nice fall down below us. Now we're moving into the Ford. Jerry on lead. Darn it falling. The boys are down there somewhere. Just gonna beat up the rest of this ice pitch.
Might as well just belay you up to that next anchor. If you fall, fall onto that side and I'll jump over the ridge on this side. And we'll just clothesline this thing. Okay. We probably about 12, seven, almost 13. We got about another thousand feet. pretty good but this never ceases to kick your ass we are there man Sounds amazing. <laughs> we'll get down this slowly and carefully. Yes. First turns on the grand. First turns on the new skis and the new boots too. <laughs> started the repelling portion of our day. Hooked into this anchor, heading down these ice holes. How many more we got left, Jimmy? Oh, uh, we got three more. <laughs> Started at three, back at seven. That's a great day, dude. Find some not horrible snow. how much more moral character you have now. Yeah, that was so gnarly. <laughs> 7,000 vert of really shitty ski. Yeah, <laughs> really bad. But dude, yeah. <laughs> just tick that one off. I mean, you skied regardless, it. when you really look at it from here, you're like, why would you walk all the way up there? It seems really so far, far away. I know, dude. <laughs> After all that, that was time. a supper fest. For sure. Yeah. I'm done with this episode. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>